Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi. Come on in. Come on in. Hopefully all over, all around the country and a little bit of the world, there's little notifications going off and saying, the crafty yogi is live. The crafty yogi is live. Isn't that exciting? I think it's pretty exciting. <laughs> well, actually, it's not exciting that I'm live. What I think is exciting is that somebody somewhere might see that notification and click that button on their phone or their computer and like be here. That's what I think is exciting. Okay, so here we go, you ready? Hi Crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi, and welcome to the Crafty Corner and to today's video, which is not a walkthrough, I wish, not a show you everything I super love, I wish, but today's video is going to be um, an unboxing of my pre-pre-order. <laughs> You're like, what's a pre-pre-order? Okay, so demonstrators get to order from our catalogs and our offerings one month before customers so that we can get the supplies and we can play with it and we can make really cool projects. So then you will wanna buy it and play with it and make really cool projects, right? So a pre-pre-order is if you attend the on-stage events with Stampin' Up, whether it's virtual, online, um, depending on the rules, the rules change. Um, but if you attend one of those events, you get a smaller list, medium list, you get a smaller list of things that you can order from. Um, I did not order them all. Um, I didn't like love them all. And so I'm trying to make good choices. <laughs> I'm trying to make good choices. And, um, but I definitely got quite a few things that I could share with you. All right, so I'm gonna give you the, um, let's see if I can do this right. There we go. Oh, that's so funny. I just got the notification. <laughs> oh, hold on one second, that's so cute. I just got the notification on my iPad that the Crafty Yogi is live. <laughs> I was just talking about that in the, in the little pre-show um, that I was hoping that people would get that notification and actually click the button. So that tells me, hmm, that takes about two minutes for me to get that notification. So interesting. I don't want to spend two minutes, well, I did spend two minutes chatting you up. Hey, Wendy from Georgia. All right, you guys ready? Okay. So, I, like I said, I can't show you the inside of the catalog or the celebration brochures. Um, in fact, I can't even order more of these until December 1. Demonstrators, December 1 is the, the um, big exciting time. But, okay, so we're going to move this over here, and I might have to open it to the side and, and tell you stuff, but I can't show it to you. Okay, so I, um, so I pre-pre-ordered, and what am I going to start with? I am going to start with, okay, so where, I'm going to start with my beach lovers. Where are my beach lovers out there? And, how, and so you have to let me know how, I got this new background, right? I got this roll of, I don't know, it's like for bulletin boards, for teachers. Um, but it's a little bit shiny, but I think it looks okay in the video that it's not too shiny. Hey, Wendy, yay, you got the notification. Oh, and you're in the UK. Now, I mean, can you guys not admit that that is like the coolest thing ever? That someone all the way across, as they across the pond, right? So I'm East Coast, so it's not too bad. It's like a six, five, six hour plane ride. Oh, I wanna go there again. Um, but that someone got that notification and they decided to like chill out and hang out with me and watch this video. I mean, I <laughs> it is so cool. Okay, so, you know, I don't know how much people in the UK love the beach. Um, I know it's it's colder there than here, um, so you guys will have to let me know what people in the UK, I know people in Australia like the beach, um, so I would assume New Zealand also, but I don't know about Europe. Um, I know UK has lots of beaches, but you know, is it warm? Do you go, I don't know, is it cold all the time? <laughs> um, would I need to wear like a parka the whole time I'm there? But this, uh, not, I was gonna say holiday catalog, this mini catalog has a whole bunch of beachy things. We only got to order one. I'm pretty sure there's two more. There's sea turtles, and I feel like there's one more. I haven't even got a chance to really dig into the catalog yet. I gotta think with my business hat, like what are we gonna make? But I, I am a sucker for the oceany things. Okay, so here's what we have. We have, and I gotta make, there we go, Seaside Bay. Okay, I'm an East Coast girl, and we have our beaches, and I like to, it's about three and a half, yeah, three to three and a half hours gets me to um, my most favorite, Lewis, Delaware, and Rehoboth, and Bethany, and Ocean City. Um, and then if I want to go further south, uh, 
six-ish hours gets me to the Outer Banks. Along the way, I could go to Virginia Beach. So there's lots of beaches um, in, around me and lots of places I like to go. These little sandpipers are my favorite. Let me see if you can see those. I haven't stamped them yet, but they are my favorite. I love watching those little birds. I like um, early morning walks on the beach. I like midday. I like walks on the beach all the time. Like, I really do. So this set is a red rubber set. So it's going to give us lots and lots of detail. There is a crab. I mean, I'm just going to call it a Maryland crab because I live in Maryland. It is probably some other kind of crab. I don't know. I'm not a crab expert, but it's kind of cute. There are little seashells. Um, there's, I think this is an oyster shell. Okay, I had a grandma that was from the Eastern Shore um, and her, her driveway was not paved. It was crushed oyster shells because they you use what you have. Look, there's a pearl. <laughs> That's so funny. And then there's this clam with a pearl and little sand and um, a nice thank you and a sympathy greeting. There are dyes. And just like Stampin' Up's been doing for a little while, I like this. Um, so there are dies that will cut out, like this will cut out my three little sandpipers. This cuts out, oh, this is nice. So you stamp one stamp, one die, one stamp, one die for those. That is very cool. Um, but then there's these extra ones, like here's some seagrass. Here's like, uh, you know, landscape line, another little seashell. Ooh, oh, sorry, these are like Ariel's little um, seashell bras. <laughs> Dude, somebody could make that in punch art, I'm sure. And then there's this big, um, clam I'm pretty sure you could fold it in half and then put that little pearl in it or something and there's your crab so those are fun oh I'm getting a cramp in my hand how do you, you know how you get a cramp in your hand I spent the entire day prepping my just cards class because um I need to get it out a day early well it's gonna go out on Friday because um I'm going to a craft retreat all weekend I know I've been doing like a lot of stamping stuff um okay we're gonna do the paper next because I will say Lots and lots and lots, or all, of the paper is super nice. Okay, I can't get it open. I opened everything else, but I was like, oh, I'll peel that up real fast. There it is. So I didn't open that. I tried to open things so I wouldn't waste too much time fiddling with wrappers, but apparently I am going to fiddle with a wrapper. Ooh, okay, I see that now, Wendy. She lives in South Wales, approximately 10 miles from the beach. I want her to live 10 miles from the beach um, instead of however many it is. Okay, so... This paper is six by six. Ooh, it's shiny. Look at that. Can you see? You can see that in the video. Okay, so one side is shiny. All right, so this must say, hold on, let me grab some glasses. Specialty designer series paper. Okay, so when it says specialty, it means glitter or shine. All right, so it's six by six, which makes me a little bit sad um, because when you're doing classes for other people, look at that. Those are really nice, the oysters. Um, sometimes I like a bigger size, but it'll be fine. Ooh, I like that little fan look. Okay, so one side is going to have this shine and one side is not. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I love this palette. So when I laid all this stuff out neatly, like I opened all the packs and I laid it in a pile. You know how we're all in that red, green. Um, well, I, I also... I saw like three different cards that had pink Christmas trees. I'm making a pink Christmas tree card next week. Look at that, little fish swimming. Um, but you know, you're kind of in that winter palette and I love fall colors. It's always fun, that first transition. Ooh, that's cute. So those are, I bet you could cut those out with the dies if you wanted. Although that would probably waste a lot of paper. Maybe the crabs. You might want to fussy cut the little birds out, but it's just pretty. Um, so anyway, it's always fun Ooh, <laughs> to see a new palette. Look at that, you see that shine in there? Yes, that is so pretty. I like that. All right. So when you get the, when it's six by six, you get four of each one. Okay, and then that one just has the little shiny lines. Okay, can I hold all this? It's like when you're a little kid trying to hold a deck of cards. Okay, and so then here's those little fan things. That's funny. See how it looks iridescent? Look at those rainbowy colors. That is very neat. Wait a minute, I already saw those. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It's a different color. This one has, um, I don't know, maybe it's Pool Party. I didn't look at the colors. Yep, Pool Party. And this one is Sahara Sand, but it's the same print. Oh, come on, papers. Stay together because I want to do the, I like the big fancy flip over to show you. And so this one we had in a different color in the blue. And then there's one more. Ooh, I like that in Sahara Sand a lot. And that look, it looks rainbowy when you shine it. 
very nice. Okay. So those are kind of fun. I, I, I am digging that. And then let's flip. Oh, but I'm totally digging this. Oh, I, I like shine, but it's not my preference. This, this feel is my preference. But look at that. So the, a lot of them are the same prints. Just, oh, look at that little bird. He's so cute. I'm not sure if he is a sandpiper. Oh, look at that one. This reminds me a little bit of that On the Horizon paper last year where it's just kind of like a like a watercolor scene. Oh, wow. This is really pretty. Ooh, what if we made a little like three frame set kind of thing? I don't know. I have a my downstairs powder room is um, beachy themed and it's beachy themed in that I have pictures that I took at the beach. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty. Um, pictures that I took at the beach and I got those mixed tiles made and then I have two samplers I've made in there. Um, it's just fun. I don't know. It's super weird because you know you have to go to your bathroom pretty frequently and it kind of makes me happy to look at that. Okay so this palette makes me very happy. And I'm definitely a pink girl but I love my blues and greens. Okay so there's our paper, there's our stamp set, there's our dies and then to go with all of that are flat adhesive back pearls and they are also iridescent okay so in the light I have right now they look pink and purple but when it was over in the other room on my table they looked more just like shiny white wow that is really interesting because they totally did not look like this color over there so it's gonna look different and then this this I love 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 okay can it focus no am I too close there we go so this ribbon is balmy blue and white like ombre ribbon and at the on stage, um, they colored it. You know, you could add um, like pale papaya to the other to the white side. It was really pretty. So very very pretty ribbon. Okay, so that is by the bay. Oh, sorry, Seaside Bay. Oh, and this is a cool thing you should know now. Look at this. These dies are called Seaside Bay dies, and this stamp set is called Seaside Bay. So now the stamps and the dies have the same name. The paper, not so much. That's why I said by the bay. By the bay was the paper. Okay, so that's my first one. All right, all right. So next, okay, so this one is not a sweet, although part of it is part of a sweet. And then um, the other things are independent. So I thought I'd break up sweets. Okay, so hold on. Um, let's do these first two. Okay, so this stamp set is called Best Family Ever. One, this is one of my most favorite fonts. This cursive is not my most favorite cursive, but it's probably my second or third, as if you rate, rate, rate your fonts, right? But it's my second or third most favorite uh, font. And I look, look, there's a mum. I, I should probably tell you someone on there. So it, with my I have a, a iPhone and with Surrey, you know, you can give her a different voice. Um, so I have the British man as my, who, who tells me my directions. But I would tell the phone in, in the car, I'd say, call mom. And then Suri would say, I don't know who your mom is. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's in my contacts, literally mom, M-O-M. She doesn't even get her name. And he, he couldn't find it. And then one day I changed it to mum, M-U-M. And now I can say call mum and Suri will call my mom from the car. So there you go. Um, which is funny because I was born in England. So I, I, my mom doesn't know that I'm now calling her mom, but I am. So it has all of the people. But then this is, look, look really close. You're in my thoughts. You could totally use that all by itself. Happy birthday. Thanks. Um, and there's like a, oh my gosh, do they have boss? Oh, come on. Like a boss. Does anybody say that? Is that too old fashioned? It might be. Best ever bonus. Oh, like, you know, if you have a bonus sister or a bonus, uh, well, don't have a bonus wife. Don't do that. Bonus baby. You could have a bonus baby. Um, and wonderful. Congratulations to my love. This is very nice. And it's uh, photopolymer which is really good for this kind of stamp set so that you can kind of like stamp them together that is super cool best family ever so I was very excited about that and then I was most 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 excited what are these called alphabet a la mode dies Ooh, like with ice cream okay so they are skinnier and smaller than our old um, big letters dies <laughs> um, it's very nice because look, you get two, all the vowels you get two of. Your A's, your E's, your I's, your O's. No, that's a zero. Oh, it's the same, look at that. 
O and is there two U's? Maybe there's not two U's. Maybe we don't use U as much. And like R, L, like th some of the really common letters we get two of. Exclamation point. We get the numbers. So you get both together. And I don't know what language uses these little letters. Um, well, French uses the C sometimes. I don't know. I am doing, we're, we're going to go um, for our anniversary, I think next late September. We haven't booked anything yet, but we're going to, to Europe, to Paris, and maybe some other countries. And so I'm doing dual lingo, dual, duo lingo. And they, I know there was some French word that had that little sa thing on there. So anyway, this I was very excited about because they'll fit on cards, they'll fit on samplers. I like being able to put words on things. I think it looks cute. My daughter, not so much, but you know what? That's okay. We can all disagree. And if you don't like words on things, it's okay. But you know, couldn't I make the cutest Christmas card that says peace or joy on it? I certainly could now that I have these big letters. Ooh, okay. Hmm. How am I going to do all this before Thanksgiving next week? I am not sure. All right. So this is the one I wanted to look up because I did not buy, this is called Fancy Flora. Hold on, I'm gonna find it really quick so I can tell you what this stamp set, I don't even remember what it looks like, but I did not get it, but I got the paper, page 15. And I'm sure some demos got it, so if you really wanna see it in advance, you can, like if you're a demo and you're gonna order. Oh. <coughs> oh, I did get part of it, but it's in my second order. Um, there is a stamp set called Something Fancy that has sentiments and then it has a bunch of um beautiful shaped dies and then there's a two-tone flora stamp set but i have a decent amount of flower stamp sets oh i opened everything but apparently not that okay two things i didn't open um so anyway i didn't get the flower stamp set it's very cute but i got the paper the ribbon and the embellishments and there's some shiny paper i did not get that one either Okay, so this is also six by six. And this has that whole like artist palette feel. Look at that. Like it looks so realistic. Holy moly's. I don't even know. I mean, what I feel like they do is the artist paints it and then they take a super high resolution picture of it and then they print it for us. That is a pretty set of colors. Ooh, there's a lot of colors, balmy blue, there's purple in there. What is that? Fresh Freesia. Okay. Uh, Orchid, o Orchid Oasis. I know how to say it now. Orchid. I was saying it wrong before. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So this is all this paint palette look. Ooh, I like that one. Blacks and so grays and yellows. Ooh, I like that. And I like that one a lot. Oh my goodness. And then... Ooh, yellow with a little bit of dark blue or dark purple there. Ooh, I see dark. Look at that one. All the purples. This paper is a little bit light because I um, used it in my Just Cards class. The, um, shoot, I don't remember what it's called. The one with the flowers that are all different colors. Um, I use that. Look at that. The yellows. Couldn't you see that? Like with a beachy scene? Like this is your sunset or sunrise. I kind of see that. The soft blues. Purples and pinks. <laughs> this one would be like, um, uh, shoot, Sleeping Beauty's dress. No, I think that was blue and pink, but uh, you get the idea. That one's really nice. That's like a coffee shop color, like a latte. That's kind of pretty. And we got one more. Ooh, I like that. And those greens. Oh, yes. Well, hello. Ooh, that looks like... This Christine, I'm pretty sure she's from France or somewhere. That is really cool. This is really pretty. I think you guys are going to want this paper. And I don't have the Something Fancy bundle because I needed to do two separate orders. Um, and that's coming the slow way. This one came the fast way. Are you ready? Oh, my goodness. So that was kind of like the neutral side. Look at these papers. Look at this. Holy moly's. Oh, my friends. Look at that palette. So I bet, now it's not going to look exactly like this, but if you really like this look, the stamp set and dies you can get. Oh my gosh, I love that. Now what if you just took this and you put like a name or 
I don't know, I Heart Coffee, I don't know, something on there. <gasps> Look, it's like a lily pad um, pond or something. That's the vibe I get from that. I'm just going to, ooh, and I love that one. Oh, my gosh, my friends. Oh, and I love this one. What in the world? And I think it comes off on camera really well. It's beautiful. How am I going to convince myself to use it? Okay, those are all right. What's on the back? Oh, well, that one's okay. But look at that. I mean, someone might love that. I don't want to disparage it. Look how pretty it is. But it's not my most favorite. Look at that one. Look at that. Oh, oh, so from Quebec. Oh, I want to go to Quebec so I could practice my French. I could drive to Quebec. I mean, it would be a decent drive. I think it's like seven or eight hours. Instead of like going to Florida, I could go to Quebec. That one is pretty. Oh, I like this one. I don't know. That palette is calling to me. That evening evergreen, soft succulent, calypso coral, I feel. And what is that? Is that petal pink? Nope. I'm looking calypso coral. I don't know. But I really like that one a lot. And that one. Okay, I love this paper. I only got one little pack of this paper because I wasn't going to... Um, get the other the flower stamp set but oh you guys are gonna need this paper it's called fancy flora and then some pool party ribbon like one that's super easy to tie bows and knots with you're gonna love this ribbon I may have gotten two rolls and then some uh, iridescent pastel gems peel and stick and they are in let me read the colors calypso coral balmy blue and gold what they're calling this gold yeah, that's what they're calling it. They're calling it gold. Okay, it kind of looks gold. Very nice. Okay, so you're definitely going to want to put... <laughs> I'm really sorry. If you're a demonstrator and you weren't there and you're making your list now, um, you're going to put these things on, but then you're going to see all the stuff that's available. There's so many cute stuff. So many cute stuff. If you like cutesy animals um, and puns, there's like two or three sets you're going to need. If you love all things flowers... <laughs> There's two or three sets you're going to need. Um, if you love motorcycles, there's there's motorcycles. There's not a lot of gardening this year. Um, I don't know. Okay. Now, 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 now. Ooh, this one's a good one. We have a whole suite. Here we go. This is called Desert something. Desert Details will be that. Hold on. I'm going to find the page so I can call it. You know I'm terrible at names. I'm just going to always pretty much refer to this as the desert one. That's how, how I roll. Um, I'm a little better in teaching yoga in that I know the names and the poses. <laughs> Although I don't know the Sanskrit so well anymore. Okay. So it is called Delicate Desert Sweet. So if you like all this, you'll be able to order it all with one number, which I think is super cool. Um, okay. If you don't like the desert, I, the desert is probably the lowest on my nature loves. This doesn't have to only be desert at all. Like, I didn't see desert at first when I looked at it. Um, one thing I really saw that I liked, okay, I don't want the glare, is this beautiful font. Okay, so I don't know what font rank this is, but you are what sunshine feels like. Let the fun begin. Like, that's perfect for a birthday card. Your smile is pure magic. Sending warm rays your way. I liked those um, sayings, and I like these little pattern me things. And I guess now I really see they look deserty, um, as techy, um, at least in the U.S. Um, you know, I think about Arizona, New Mexico kind of feel. And then there's these two flowers. This is a red rubber stamp set, so you can have a lot of fun with that. Um, the things that Shelly and Sarah showed us at OnStage, they use their Stamparatus a lot to make really cool patterns um, with these stamps. But the main thing I liked about it was this, and I haven't die cut it out yet, and I might not get to it for a couple weeks, but this die makes a frame and it has little um, cutouts in it. It is very, very cute. There are two dies to cut out the flowers, then there's, you can get these little, um, I don't know, triangles, diamonds. And then this one I really like. This looks really cool. Let me, I'm going to take it out so you can see it. It cuts uh, like a zig, not zigzag, serrated edge. Like kind of like when you tear a notebook out, it will cut. See that those little squares? It will cut that as an edge. It makes a great border. Um, there's this inside one that's really cute. 
And uh, Shara, I do this now. They have one name. They're Shara. Shelly and Sarah use this little um, triangle thing a lot. And then this makes the cutest little plants. Like if you like to do the succulent thing, you could totally use that little plant. So I like that. All right, let me get that in there. We're going to do the paper last on this one. This is a huge roll of ribbon. How many yards is this? It's usually 10. Um, it doesn't say. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's only five yards. I think it's because it's so fat. It's like a puffy, um, hey, Trisha, <laughs> welcome. It's a puffy ribbon in pale papaya. It's really pretty. Um, and I know if you like this shabby chic look, I saw that um, Shelly cut it in half, you know, to get like a little bit of ribbon. I didn't do that kind of recently, which is kind of weird for me, but I've been enjoying it. And then these are super fun sequins, gold. Um, these bottom ones are like, teardrop shaped and then the other two sizes are regular sequin shaped so gold sequins it's a it's a go-to all right I'm saving this paper for last we're gonna I did show you this super quick if you saw my video on um my what prizes I came home from on stage so that would be what my Monday video yeah I showed you the animal paper and I showed you this I used the animal paper I posted those cards today so for my lovers of shiny you get two sheets in the pink and two sheets in the blue nice and shiny hey Jean how are you <laughs> Jean was my roomie um, this weekend so it was pretty fun we had a good time and I only just met her I met her <laughs> and I did not officially meet you on the internet Jean I met you in person but I did just meet her that day but we spent a car ride together and then um, we were roommates at on stage all right now you know I love some designer series paper Oh, do I love designer series paper. I just, it's so pretty from Stampin' Up. And a lot of it is just so nice. Like it's not just, oh, let's put a bunch of little soccer balls all over the paper. Although they could do a sports paper. I would be okay with that. All right, so you got this, like, yes, this says desert, but I could see a beachy card with this. I could just see this as, it almost looks like ribbons, a pretty background. Okay, that one is, you know, a little more of your, I don't know if, if Aztec-y is the right word, but that's what it, it draws to mind. Okay, let's see. All right, I gotta do it this way. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, it's so funny, you can't, it doesn't read well on the camera. Okay, wait a minute. Nope, if it sits there long enough, it, it starts to blur together, but it is, let me see if I hold it closer. Uh, no. Okay, it is orange, um, kind of like triangle design. It's very pretty, I like it a lot, actually. Ooh, I like that a lot, okay. Hmm, that one's not showing up the right color either. Okay, this is pale papaya. So it's kind of an orangey, like it would be the same as the ribbon. And it's like the polka dotted stamp set, I, the big background one we got. Okay, and then this is like, if you print, oh, I like this. If you, it's got, the, oh, what a cute design. They did the flowers and then those strips. So it's like the stamps, but smaller and put all the way across the page. And then, ooh, and then that's the same kind of like ribbons. Um, and that's in... A green it kind of looks like soft succulent we'll see all right and then we're gonna flip this over oh the colors look better far away okay good Ooh. all right mm, I might like mostly the other side this one is neat though this is this is definitely like if you put it like this way you get definitely get that desert vibe that's pretty okay I like that it's got like smears and mushes on it and then there's some green Okay, this, oh, this is like the, the orangey one. Is that on the back of it? Yes, see, that's mean. But it's like oval swirlies. And then here's just kind of a nice little, you know, pattern print. Oh, I like this. See, this would great, be great for some masculine cards. All right, so it's a very nice palette of colors. And if you love the desert, if you live in New Mexico or Arizona, um, or you like that kind of area and that is your jam. We all have different things we like for decor, right? Some of us are gonna like beach things, some of us are gonna like desert things. That all works out nicely because, and some of us will like all of the things. Okay, so there is your desert suite. Move that out of the way. Let's see where I can pile this up. Oh, somehow I'm gonna have to clean up. Um, I'm gonna go to the opera tonight, but at University of Maryland, my, um, they're doing La Boheme, which I have not seen. I've never actually seen an opera. Um, so it's college student opera, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be nice. Oh, look, I, I teased you too soon. Don't look at that. Uh, Jean, the first paper I just did, the one I just did is the desert one. I don't know what it's called, but the one that goes with the desert stuff. 
Um, now we're gonna talk about farm animals. Now these, I don't see the desert outside my window of the car driving around in Maryland, but I do see on the farm. I love animal stamp sets. Um, so we have sheep and cows and pigs and chicken, little farmhouse. I see this a lot, bales of hay, clouds. Um, there's a little tiny barn. I guess it's supposed to go in the background and there's a little hill and some flowers. Um, I like the little trees. Oh, it's a silo. Okay, and so I'm pretty sure this is red rubber. Yes, so this is a red rubber one. So lots of fun detail in there. It will stamp really nice. And then the dies. Okay, so hopefully tomorrow. This is my number one favorite and I haven't used yet. Look at the sheep die. You can get like a woolly sheep. I mean, how cute is that? And then, oh my gosh, look at your hills. Here's the three hills. Like one solid, one stripey, one dotty. Oh, there's a tiny windmill. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then you got little cows and little pigs and a, oh, a bunny. And a mama duck and two little ducks. A little, you know, landscape piece. And there's two cows. Ooh, I like it. And then there's the big ones, right, to cut out the dyes. What is that? Oh, that's this little sprig. Okay. Clouds. I don't know. Maybe that cuts out this piece. Oh, you can't see that. Look, I got it in the glare. Sorry. There we go. So anyway, I like these dyes a lot. Oh, I can see some really fun stuff. Fun stuff. So I think great for baby cards, great for, you know, a baby's room, great for like medium kids who love farm stuff, like little preschoolers, um, and you know, great for your adults that like farm animals. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. All right. And then you're like, that's super fun. And then I'm like, hey, remember in January, so January and February, there is a special thing that Stampin' Up! does called celebration. If you're a demo, when you order in December, you will also get your celebration items. It may be limited to which ones, like I couldn't get them all. The list for the pre-pre-order was a little bit smaller, but, and I know you already saw it, but I was like gonna teach you. So if you ordered this bundle, I think it's like 50, two or something you can get this whole pack of paper for free I'm gonna bet you if I'm a betting woman no we cannot oh yes we can die cut okay so if you don't want a fussy cut and you don't want to use that as a background some people like to do this because you get such a beautiful cut look at that I didn't even know that the cow the sheep the pigs is that flower in the stamp the flower, okay, so you could die cut out like almost all this stuff. Um, I probably would fussy cut it unless I was doing just one because it's just easier. Um, super cute, okay, so we have our cute little animals in nice traditional colors. I don't know if we're gonna get other colors, but ooh, I like that one. Look at that, that's like trees and cows and little yellow flowers. And now you could use the trees if you wanted to cut them out, you could use them somewhere else. They don't have to go on the farm. Ooh, I like that. It's like red with the chickens and the cows and the farm. I don't want to see. Oh, look at the cute little geese. All right, this one is, oh my gosh, there's so many little chicks. That is very cute. So geese and chickens. Sounds so weird. Oh, look at that one. Look, it's a whole farm scene. I feel like I need to make like a cute little book for a little kid. Oh, that's adorable. You can just pop that. If you're doing like a farm theme in a baby room, you can just pop that in a frame. <gasps> Look at that. So not only do we get our animals, we get our veg. Yeah, it's all veg. Carrots and corn and cucumbers and broccolis and peas, radishes, onions. I think that's all of it. So very nice veg page. And it's kind of a, I think it's basic gray is the background. All right, let's turn it over and see what we get. <gasps> so, ooh, look at this one. Look at that red. I could use that on Christmas cards, but I've got enough Christmas card paper. Then there's your um, hills. Here is your, just like a nice background piece. Your chicken, chicken wire. Eh, you know, some blue flowers and some really pretty um, like ticking stripes with little stitches. Okay, so there is your on the farm. It's a bundle and then there will be a January and February. And now remember, these are well supplies last. So Stampin' Up, you know, they have to, what do you call it, forecast. They have to guess. 
how many they think people will order. So there will be a limit because um, it's only for two months. My guess is they're not reordering anything. So if there's something you really like, get that first, okay? All right, so there's your on the farm. We're almost done. How long are, okay, we're about 34 minutes. Yeah, okay. So you pick out what you want to buy. The rest of the stuff is celebration stuff that I'm going to share. So we have two cute stamp sets. You know everybody's going to be making really cute things. I like these. I like this owl the best. Hoot hoot. You're so cute, my friend. It's your day. It is a red rubber stamp set with a $50 purchase. You can get this for free. I'm going to tell you there's one with carrots, like big carrots. It's cute. Oh, it's super cute. I cannot get it yet, but it'll be first on my list. Um, when the catalog goes live for demos. Um, this one in the country. Okay, I was definitely on the fence. It's a very fine, it's really pretty, very artistically done, but I don't usually use such um, detailed stamps for my kind of crafting. However, the person at our on stage that did a demo, she stamped this on an oval, that new um, fitting florets oval we have, and colored it, and it was super cute. And it was like a little background and then you just add a little, you know, little sentiment. And it is also a red rubber stamp set that you can get for free with a $50 order. So since I was limited on to which ones I could get, I decided I was going to try that. Okay. And then I'm going to save my favorite for last. I said, so only two more things I got to show you. This paper is called like dainty flowers. All right. It's not my most favorite flower paper I ever saw, but it is really nice. And you can, it's free, right? So you got the, oh, okay, I like this one. The kind where you can cut it and get the card fronts out of it. That is super nice. I do like that one a lot. All right. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that oval, hold on, if my, they are here. Let me check. These are new, so they're still hanging out by me. Which, by the way, if you're dying to order your customer, you're like, I want something new. You can order these um, ovals. Okay, so you could put an oval like on top. Uh, let's see if this, I call this one the Evil Queen's Mirror. Nope. This one, when it's not going to help you because this just die cuts out the little hearts. So I would put, but you could definitely put an oval on top of that and that would be kind of a cute thing. So there's ovals. And then I like this. You could do a slimline card, cut that out. I don't know. I'm sure there'll be some samples. Some good Stampin' Up! demos will start. Ooh, leaves. Leaves, and this is all in greens. It's a very light green at the background and then different shades of green. So greenery. I like that one. It's got like, it's kind of a purpley color, maybe a blackberry. And then, so it's a lot of these kind of flowers, which aren't my most favorite, but they're really pretty. And so I'm pretty sure, fingers crossed, pretty sure that, oh yeah, the backgrounds are really nice. So you've just got, like, look, I mean, you need, Fresh freeze of polka dots. We need some orchid oasis little, I don't know, triangle lines. Look at that. That's really pretty. So it's like watercolor with splatter. I'll take that. Oops, that's the same one. And then the greenery, but this one is like watercolored. And then one more of these big with the splatters. Okay. So dainty, dainty stems. What did I say it was called? Dainty flowers. So you can get that one free. All right, and then all, all DSP lovers unite, unite, because guess what? They have, now this is hardcore. This is the big pack. There we go. Oh, that's so funny. It won't focus there. Okay, so it's the big pack. Hold on, maybe if I do it here. There we go. So with a $100 order, because it's basically two packs of paper, it is called Dandy Designs. You get, how many pieces? 48 so not 12, 12 and 12 is 24. Oh my gosh, this is four packs of paper, but you only have to have a hundred dollars. So the other one, you get 12 sheets of paper for your $50 purchase. This one with your hundred dollar purchase, you get 48 sheets of paper. So Stampin' Up's been doing these big packs, which I love because I do a lot of to-go classes and uh, kits in person classes. This is such a fun set of paper. Wait until you see. So stars, these are little like pentagons. I think they're pentagons, five-sided. Ooh, look at those polka dots. They are adorable. The polka dots are like mango melody and then your light pinks and light purples. Sorry, 
when there's four sheets, it takes me a second longer. Okay, and then the same color, oh my gosh, these two together, so cute. Same color, but like little squares. Oh, I love this paper. All your spring projects you will be ready for, or you know, your birthday cards. Okay, get together, get together. All right, that looks like, I think it's Fresh Freeze, yeah. I hate saying that name, it's so hard to say. Okay, so same stars, but, ooh, I think this is, um, what is it, Sweet Sorbet, maybe. I don't know, I'll look at the list in one second. The list is, of course, at the bottom. Ooh, okay, this looks like um that gum with the little zebra guy on it. I don't know what it's called. It's super, tutti fruity, rooty, I don't know, something with fruit. Um, I didn't get to get it very often, but that looks really cute. And then here's your like window pane with the blue. Oh my gosh, this weighs a ton. Okay, and then we've got the different kind of polka dots with blue. Nope, did I miss something? I did. Here's our little pentagons, but in um, Bermuda Bay. I like the green stripes. That'll be super fun with like carrots. I don't know why. And then a zigzaggy white paper. Okay, now we're gonna flip it all over. This weighs a ton. <laughs> a ton because it's four. Oh, so nice. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Yes, I adore this green one. I think I over, ooh, like our polka dots and greens um, and blues with a little pop of purple. I like this plaid. I see Easter bunnies. There's a cute bunny set when we get to the, I can't show it to you yet, but when we get to December, I will once I buy it. So a couple of these are um, similar patterns, just different colors. Oops, I'm missing a yellow one here. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's really cute. And this is a cute plaid. Look at all those fun plaids and flowers. Petal pink little things and zigzaggies. So lots and lots of beautiful paper. So I definitely see Easter and birthday cards coming out of this pack. And this is free with a $100 order. It is called Dandy Designs. Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Fresh Freesia, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, and Petal Pink. So a very, very beautiful spring palette. All right, my friends, let me press the buttons. And you got to tell me if you liked my new background. It's a teeny bit shiny, but I think it might be okay. Oh, no, I pressed all the buttons wrong. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, that paper is a must-have. A couple people are commenting that they really like that paper. Um, it is super nice. So the deal is, in case you don't know, if you're a demonstrator, and if you want to be a demonstrator, definitely talk to me. Send me an email, audremonk at yahoo.com. Super easy. Um, but if you are a demonstrator starting December 1, you can pre-order from the mini catalog. If you're a customer, we are going to tease you and tease you. And then starting January 5, you can order um, the springy things. But don't worry, in December, I'm going to do my um, crafty Christmas week. I don't remember what I call it. Like we're going to use our Christmas stuff to make really fun gifts um, for people. I don't know exactly what week. I think I'm going to do it the um, first full week of December. So that way on the off chance you really need to buy some paper or something, you might have time to get it. Um, what else? Oh, I'm gonna do a gratitude week next week. So some ideas of uh, being grateful for what we have and our friends and our family. So I'm gonna do that because that's in the US, it's Thanksgiving week next week. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, questions, comments, requests, totally let me know. If I said something too quick and you didn't get the name and you wanna know the name, um, just tell me like random. What's the desert paper called? What's the paper that is free with a $100 purchase call? And I'll tell you. Um, but obviously, once you get catalogs. And if you need catalogs, um, I will be able to order them on December 1. So I'll have them that couple days. I think I'm only going to do the two-day shipping um, instead of the one day. I got ripped off. I paid for one day, and there was some kind of delay. So I'm seeing if I can get a little refund. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens when December 1 gets here. I get a little excited. So anyway, questions, comments, requests, let me know. I hope that this is helpful for you. If there's any tips or tricks you need me to share, uh, let me know. Um, and I'll see you next time. So I think that there, oh, I'm going away for the weekend to a craft retreat. So if you want to know about scrapbooking, I'll be posting. Look at my stories. I put a lot of things there. Um, 
that way people who like to check all the time can see them and you can see the stories on Facebook or Instagram um, you click the little circles or the little squares at the top it says stories um, yeah so I'll put lots of things there so if you need anything let me know have fun and stay crafty I'll see you next time